Hello and welcome to Maker Edit Home, brought to you by the KSU I Teach Maker Bus team. My name is Luke. I usually spend my days taking the Maker Bus around to K through 12 schools and community centers, sharing how making can help students learn. But you know, the thing is, you can make and create and design no matter where you are using pr pretty much anything. So today, I want to challenge you to create something using just simple household materials that you might have lying around your home. So today, our challenge is to create a catapult. A catapult is a type of lever that uses a fulcrum to launch a projectile. There are many types of levers, but in order to launch something, the catapult needs a fulcrum. A fulcrum is a pivot point, or the point on which the lever turns to lift something. In this instance, the more force applied to the fulcrum, the further your object will travel. Now, let's take a look at the supplies we're going to need for this project. The first supply you're going to need is some popsicle sticks. Two popsicle sticks is probably the best. The second thing you're going to need is some rubber bands. One or two will work. You're also going to need a wedge material. And my wedge material that I have is just a piece of paper because that's probably the easiest thing you're gonna be able to find. And I've just kind of folded it up into a little wedge like this. You're also going to need a holder. And I've got a bottle cap here from a milk carton. That's my holder. And then lastly, the most fun part that you're going to need is something to launch. And I've got a goldfish. All right, step one. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to combine your popsicle sticks. So you're going to put them together like this. And then you're going to take a rub your rubber band and put them around one end of your popsicle sticks. Wrapping it as tightly as you possibly can. Now, step two. Now that you've got your fulcrum created, your pivot point, because look, if I take apart my two popsicle sticks, my two levers, I've got a pivot point in between them with this rubber band. Now, to give us, to make our fulcrum complete, we need to place a wedge material. So I'm gonna take my piece of paper and I'm going to put it in between my two popsicle sticks all the way as close as I can to my rubber band. All right. All right, step three. We're gonna attach our holder to our popsicle sticks. And what I've done here is I've taken a piece of tape and I've kind of folded it up so that I have a gap where I can slide my popsicle sticks right over onto my holder. This is going to keep my holder secure when I'm launching things. All right, for our final step, let's launch something. I've got my trusty goldfish in here. Let's see. And it works, fantastic. There's our popsicle catapult. Completion, two popsicle sticks, a rubber band, maybe one or two, depending on how big your popsicle sticks are, a piece of wedge material, a holder, and you don't even have to have a holder. You can create, you can just launch something on top of your stick, and then when you're when you're about to launch it, hold down the other end of the stick. And there you go. Thank you for watching this video. Maker Edit Home is brought to you by the KSU I Teach Maker Bus team. 
Share your creation online using the hashtag ITeachMaker. See you, makers.